Oh, so Corey is outside, outside. Ladies, this is exactly why when you have a good man, you stay at home. You hold on tight to him. You appreciate him because when he's gone, he's gone forever. It has been no secret, you all, that Corey, Tia's ex-husband, has been flourishing and elevating without her. We see him getting presented with bigger and better job opportunities and money and all of that, which I'm sure really stings and really hurts Tia to her core. But it's a whole different level of insult to injury, if you will, when you not only have to bear witness to that man that you threw away, right? That was a good man, but there's nothing worse than having to not only see that man that was treasure that you threw away, elevate, evolve, flourish, and do great without you. But to actually have to also in 4K watch all of these different women throwing themselves at him, wanting to take your spot that you willingly gave up, man, excruciating pain, okay? I mean, I really do kind of sort of feel sorry for Tia. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. I kind of sort of feel sorry for her, even though this is all your fault, Tia, you know. But uh, my big heart just opens up for you right now at this moment because we're seeing Corey actively, you know, actually entertain these women back, you know, give them smooches, give them hugs, you know, flirt with them. And, and that could just be a little bit, haunting for you know a woman that maybe is regretful about her decision of giving up her good man because maybe i want you back but i'm not going to be able to get you back if you're turning your back on me and i'm seeing other women want to throw it back on you but i digress let's go ahead and get into this <laughs> shout out to this content creator I'm sorry, I do not know how to properly pronounce his name, but I will put the name of the channel up on the screen now so you all can feel free to go and check him out. Um, but when I came across this video here, I said, wow, <laughs> Corey, you really feeling yourself, aren't you, sir? And again, ladies, this is why you appreciate a good man. You appreciate a man who is taking care of you, loving on you, you know, and don't let him look good on top of that. Girl, you got to know you're fumbling. <laughs> you got to know you're messing up. Do you know how many other women are going to be lined up to snatch your man when you throw him away? He's not going to be out here waiting around on you while you try to find yourself. No, these type of men, they get snatched up off the market so swiftly that your head will spin. It will. Your, your whole head will just spin around like the damn exorcist. You got to hold on tight to these type. Okay. You got to hold on tight to these type. Okay. And y'all are really going to understand where I'm coming from when I tell y'all that I kind of do sort of feel sorry for Tia. Because when I show y'all the clip after this, as far as the man right that tia is having to entertain now that she's graduated from her husband yeah y'all y'all hearts are gonna hurt right along with mine okay because tia does have a new man and when i show y'all this new man that tia has you're gonna be like damn she said she really should have stayed at home. And I really do kind of feel sorry for her. Maybe she just did she didn't know any better. She she just didn't know but Hey, life doesn't care about your ignorance, okay? And so this is why you ultimately have to learn to appreciate the good things that you have while you have them because you just never know how life may go. Let's go ahead and get into this, you all. Y'all take this time out right now to like the video, share the video, and subscribe.
and use this clip as a teachable moment, right? As far as how you as a woman should always value, appreciate, hold on tight and love on that good man that you have before it's too late. Before he turns his back on you, before he throws you away. Look at Corey. Let's get into it. Hello, beautiful. You look stunning. Shar with Hello Beautiful. I was gonna give you some sugar on the tea. Oh. Thank you. Oh, not the movie star Corey Hardrick give me some sugar. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Listen, man, we're seeing some different energy from Corey Hardrick. It's obvious. Corey Hardrick is back in the streets and the ladies love him. Black twin, black twin, black twin. I fear you may have jumped the gun with this one. Yes, you did. I don't know what your ex-husband been up to, Corey, but girl, he been out here. He been out here. Once he said, I'll slap your nose off. That's when everything started to change for him. Because look at him. I was like, no. <laughs> Was it, was this who he was for y'all was together, or or did or did he change up after the divorce? See, that's why you gotta tell us something. Y'all can't just be sitting in the house talking about we ain't gonna talk about our personal business. We ain't gonna talk about our personal business. Girl, tell us, cause we're trying to figure out if this was the same African American Negro that you was with and married to, then why'd you get a divorce? But if this is who he has become upon y'all's divorce. Girl, I'm, I'm afraid to say he might have some more kids on the way in the future. And all this without talking shit about his significant other, without him disgracing his family by being public with private information. It's only up from here for Corey Hardrick. And I think that is something very great to highlight. You know, he said, Corey is essentially flourishing and evolving, growing, elevating, right? Outside of uh, his marriage even in the midst of his divorce. And he did all of that with class, decency, and respect. He didn't trash Tia, even though she was coming out pretty much trashing him in so many actions, in so many words. But he always kept it really um, mature. He kept it really respectful. And I think that is something to salute Corey about and, and Corey for. And I'm going to add this. I'm pretty sure by him conducting himself in that manner, it added on to the level of attraction that a lot of these women have for him. Because it's like, damn, like, not only is he a guy out here that's working hard, you know, elevating and prospering and everything in the midst of a divorce and everything of that sort, but, you know, he's not even taking any cheap shots, you know, taking any low blows. Like, he's really rising above it all. And that is something that is sexy. That is something to be respected. And so, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is contributing to why um, Corey is also seeing this increase as far as women throwing themselves at him. But let's continue and y'all like the video. Somebody gonna get this man, baby. Do you see him? Do you, you see him? Just being outside with the gold chains. And you know who don't love a good... <laughs> Good set of <laughs> gold chains dangling in the face after a long night out. <laughs> Tell us what made you say, uh-uh, not no more. Was it because he was broke or was it, or was he not broke? See, y'all got to tell us something. Y'all got to tell us something. Why this is so funny to me, man, is while Tia Mary is trying to convince everyone that she's so happy and so fulfilled and, you know, hey, she might be, right? But she's trying to convince people online through TikToks and podcast that she's doing so much better ever since her divorce. Corey Hardrick has said nothing except let his actions speak for him. When a man goes through a tough breakup, when a man goes through some type of divorce, like in this situation, yes, there's pain. There, there are moments of tears, maybe in private. No one else can see. He may be broken. But when it's all said and done, you only have truly one option as a man. And that is to dust yourself off and level up in life. And that is what I believe Corey Hardrick's doing exactly and what every man should do who's in that situation right now. And I absolutely agree with what um, this brother said. You know, um, and, and something else that I feel is important to touch base upon is how men really don't have a lot of room, you know, if any room to sulk, to be sad to be miserable you know to complain even 
And so oftentimes what we'll see is men just dust themselves off, get back up and, and go to work because that is essentially what society expects from y'all. We don't want to hear about you all crying and complaining and wimping around like, no. And Corey has expressed in the past that that is something that he did go through. Like he, he said he went through all of those nights to where he couldn't sleep at night and he had to cry himself to sleep because he missed his family, you know, but you don't hear about that. You, you don't see that. And guys, I want y'all to know as your little big sister, if nobody else tells you, I am proud of y'all for y'all's level of resilience. I am proud of y'all for always dusting yourselves off, not complaining, not crying and, and, and just getting to work, even though you may do that in your private time, right? I have to show appreciation. I have to salute you all for at least keeping a game face where it counts, you know? Um, I have to applaud you all for not going low, for not trying to trash these women and all of that to make yourselves feel better or look better in the eyes of the public. No, I, I have to applaud you all for really just sticking to what you need to stick to as a man, which is focusing on your purpose, elevating, evolving, growing, you know, not being stuck and stagnant. Because I'm going to tell y'all right now, by Corey doing that, he is being blessed for it, right? We can see that in 4K in real life. He's being blessed for doing that. And look at how many options are being presented to Corey. I, not only the options as far as the career moves and, you know, the money and all that, but the options of women, from him just presenting himself to be a respectable masculine man, like some things you just cannot buy. And a man being solid is one of them. But let's continue. Amori, give Corey Hardrick back to the streets. I'm like, girl, did you really give him back to the streets? Y'all couldn't take like maybe like three to four years apart, mm. five years to kind of separate and come back to each other because the streets, they're going to welcome him with open arms. Right, right. And what I'm seeing is that he's a good looking man. You know, he's working. Um, he seems like a good man because since they're divorced, I have not heard him say anything bad about her. See what I'm saying? That is a level of attraction that is being added on to Corey. We are paying attention. Let me tell y'all something. And y'all like the video. Share the video and subscribe. It's some real talking, your little big sis. We have got to spread this as a valuable lesson, okay? That goes back to what I said earlier. Women, we are absolutely paying attention to how a man is maneuvering, how a man is acting, you know, his actions, right? And so when we're seeing that he's able to come out of those ashes, more resilient than ever. You know, we're able to see him essentially be attacked, belittled, trashed all over the internet in different interviews, what have you, by his ex. And he says nothing. He does not try to retaliate. That is sexy. Okay. That shows that that again is a solid man. And so, yes, women, we are paying attention to how men respond to things. Is he going to get catty? Is he going to go tit for tat? Or is he going to be a man of integrity, class, decency, and respect and move in that realm? And when a man does choose to move in that realm, that makes us want you even more. Because we're always thinking about, well, what if we went through something? How would he respond if, you know, we went through a troubling time? Would he throw me under the bus? Would he expose me? Would he attack me? Like, we're thinking about those type of things. And so, yes, Corey absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, is having women check for him based upon how he responded to the attacks that Tia was blatantly inflicting upon him. But let's continue. She's thrown like a little shade here and there um from her social media from my point of view because you can tell that they they both heard and that they loved each other but um hey she felt like the relationship no longer served her so 
that's what it is. But I'm like, girl, I hope it wasn't a rush decision. And you're not going to feel bad from a couple of years when he's like completely over you she and will. have like someone new, you know, she to- will. She will. Like the brother keeps saying in the background, she will. She will absolutely regret this. Tia is absolutely going to regret this. And this woman is bringing up very valid points. She says, look, girl, are, are you sure you want to get him back to the streets? Because, look, it's, he's looking like a real tasty option, if you ask me. You, you might should have just taken a little bit of a break quietly and then came back to your man. But by you pretty much letting us all know that it was a done deal and it was over, that that was all the 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 sign that we needed to go ahead and, and and snatch up that that husband of yours to make him our own you know so yeah that's a valid point that she's making she's saying look tia i really hope that you're really solidified on your stance as far as being over him and being done with him because it's sharks in the water baby <laughs> And we see blood over there and, you know, we want to bite. We, we see some some fresh meat over there and we want to taste. So, yeah, Tia, especially with Corey elevating the way that he is. Mm, I know this is really hurting to you. So not only is he elevating and you have to watch him elevate and evolve and grow, get more money without you. But on top of that, you're seeing all of these beautiful women, all these women just coming out the woodwork like, oh, hold on. I want you. I want to be your your, your wife. I want you to be my husband. I'll never do you like Tia. Girl, I know you're sick. I know you're sick. Rock with girl, this is going to be a hard pill to swallow. But I really want to see him win because He's a good actor, and I feel like he's he he needs to receive his flowers. I, I I just love seeing him like looking healthy and also being in in in, in movies and just acting. So this it's really good to see. And um, yeah. So that was kind of hard to hear that they went their separate ways because I really wanted to see them um grow all together. But this is me. This is my selfish point of view. Good luck to the both of you guys, but I'm still like shocked, girl, that you give him back. Nobody is having a better summer than Corey Hardrick, okay? Man's been looking good all summer. I don't know if T was the problem or what, but what I do know is he ain't have an off day since he had that one day that was off. Mm. Corey Hardrick went through the motions of that divorce, and Tyler Perry found him somebody else that he could save. Tyler loved him a good savior story. Boy, I tell you what. And it's gonna, it's it's gonna be up and stuff. One thing I will say, when Tyler Perry do take you under his wing, it's gonna be up and stuff for a while, baby. This is the best summer ever for Corey Hardrick. Just look at him. He ain't never looked better. Be so for real. That man is. <laughs> I don't think I ever looked twice at Corey Hardrick. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Wow. You look like Tia Huffman. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all hear her? She's so petty. And y'all like the video. She said, you know, I, I never really looked at Corey like that until, you know, he was back on the market. And now I'm looking at him and I'm like, hold on, that man is fine. See, ladies, oftentimes these women are being respectful right emphasis on women because these other females they don't they don't give a damn at all if they want your man they're gonna try to take them but women mature women you know respectable women you know once we see that he's married and everything you know we, we look the other way but once he's free we're looking at him in a whole different light and in my opinion that is what Corey is experiencing right now not only were these women paying attention to how he was conducting himself uh in the midst of being under attack if you will by his his ex-wife right but also you know with him being free on the market again and being able to look at him at a at a, a different angle it's like wait a minute he kind of he kind of fun too, though, you know? And so, Tia's of the world, 
be careful. You're out here thinking, oh, don't nobody want him. And, you know, he ain't nothing special. And I can do so much better than him. You know, be careful. Because sometimes it's not that he's not a treasure. It's just that he's a treasure that's already taken. Right. And so since he's a treasure that's already taken, no, I'm not going to be eyeballing him like that. I'm going to be out here trying to search for my own treasure. But if you give that treasure up, you're going to start to see just how valuable he really was, just how valuable he really is and how you probably should have held on tight. Because when a man is single, ready to mingle, and he's flourishing back on the market and everything, that gives him a whole different glow to him. So, yeah, Tia, I know you're really sick right now. <laughs> they're, ready, they're ready to snatch this man up. But no, Corey, if you see this, call me. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm happy for you, though. This is this is a good look. Just going to his page, for real, for real, is like a mood booster. In real life, you could just see him glowing from the inside out like, Baby boy is really happy and you deserve it. I think everybody deserves a W. You know what I'm saying? Listen, guys, comment down below. How many men have you seen making videos talking about Tia Mary? I'm glad that you're single. I can't wait to deal with you and the baggage that you come with. You know, that's a, a, a great question, brother. Um, I'm, I want to ask you all right now. Um, how many of y'all have seen you know, countless videos like the ones that we just watched pertaining or regarding Corey. How how many of y'all have seen videos from countless men throwing themselves at Tia, asking Tia for her hand in marriage and saying that, you know, I can't wait to give you more babies. Like how many? I haven't seen any either, but what I did see is this here. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let this be used as a cautionary tale, ladies, to hold on tight to the good man that you have because it's nothing more painful, excruciating than to see the man that you let get away flourishing without you and having a whole bunch of different women that he's flirting with entertaining that want him like please don't be like Tia now look at my screen ladies and gentlemen Tia was very much so boastful about how she was going to be out here winning and grinning and getting all of these different opportunities and different options of men to explore that was Tia. So to see now in 4K just how opposite everything turned out, it, it, it is very troubling to say the least. Like Tia was the one out here so eager to go and explore different options of men and to date and mingle and, you know, flourish and all of that. But we see Corey having that experience while she is having the experience that I'm pretty sure she anticipated for Corey to have. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is the only man that I have seen Tia with <laughs> since her split. There's no good man in Tia's corner lot or life right now. The grass was not greener and cleaner on the other side. As a matter of fact, there was no grass at all <laughs> on the other side for Tia. Tia is now having to resort to this man here because no other man is out there for her this ladies and gentlemen is tia's new man let's get into it and i hope y'all know i'm being funny when i say this is her new man but nonetheless this is the outcome that tia 
is having to experience now that she left behind her good man. This is the only man that I have seen Tia in close proximity to for a very long time. It, it, come on. Since her husband, this is this is all she got. Ladies, please stop fumbling like this before this is your new reality. Let's take a look. This is back. Oh, I'm sorry. Take two, right? This is back. Ah, you're roaming the house. You better watch your mail. So in this drink are the things that I think about when it comes to Jamaica. remember that Tia was supposed to be going out to Jamaica for her birthday and everything all of her friends and you know her cousins and everything were going to go out with her but it had came out that her sister Tamara was not going to go on this trip with her do y'all remember that she was like, oh, no, my sister, she's not going to be able to go on the trip with me. And I'm pretty sure it's because Tamara has a family. And I believe Tia actually said that in that video when she was pretty much crying about her sister not being able to go out to Jamaica with her. Yeah, she was like, yeah, we just live two different lives now. You know, she has a husband. and Yeah. So, Tia, you mean to tell me that you were not able to go out on that that Jamaica trip? What happened? Did all of your good homegirls cancel on you? Mm -hmm. Is that what happened? See, a lot of these females, they're very flaky and shaky to you. But if you would have had your husband, I'm pretty sure he would have made that vacation happen for you. But, hey, what do you know? Now you have to settle for this. In the kitchen with your homeboy man i don't know let's get into it though how sad and guess what i'm calling this drink jamaica me happy wine oh here wine. we go all right jerome first step a little bit of ice in the cup that's like it. awesome and we're gonna add our alcohol our she's, spiced she's, rum she's spicy yeah. we're gonna add all of this to rum okay <laughs> Coconut water, pineapple juice, and then do you want to squeeze some lines? The thing that I like about this drink is you can monitor the sugar intake. You know what I mean? Like there's not a lot of sugar. Yeah, I know she wants to monitor the sugar. Not that <laughs> You know, pineapple is just so refreshing. Blessings on blessings on blessings. I love you, boo boo. I love you too. How pathetic. Let's remove this. Ladies, you don't want to end up like Tia to where the only man that wants to be around you and barely, I mean, from looking at the look on that man's face, he looked very irritated by her. But, you know, you don't want to ruin your life like this by fumbling a good man and having to have, you know, your homegirl man around you and he's the only one who wants to really be around you and in your company like that. You know, um, yeah, because I'm going to tell you right now, the grass is not always cleaner and greener on the other side. Sometimes there's no grass at all. Sometimes the grass is brown. Sometimes the grass is dead. You just don't want to set yourself up like this because this could be your outcome. This could be your result, right? There's no Prince Charming that we see Tia with. There's no man, you know, trying to court Tia. There's, there's none of that. And what makes it even worse is she already had what she was looking for. She threw it away. And now she has to watch the very man that she threw away experience and explore different options with different women. Also, something that is very highlight worthy with that video that we just watched here. This very cringy video we just watched. Can I say this? And again, y'all like the video, but I, I got to say this. Tia is annoying as hell. Is it just me? 
Corey, salute to you, brother. I don't see how you dealt with this goofy nonsense for so long. Like, it's one thing to be goofy, but you're funny and you're fun. Tia is like cringy goofy. Ugh. But anyway, something else that I think is highlight worthy with this is, what is Tia doing in this video? Not only is she having to settle <laughs> for just kicking it with her male gay best friend, all right? But it's looking like she's having to drown out her sorrows with drinks. Could that be an implication that, you know, she's not as happy as she thought she would be? You know? And again, this is very sad because so many women have this outcome. There's no man waiting around for you. The grass was not greener. And on top of that, the man that you threw away has ultimately gotten away. He is the man that got away from you to you. Tears of the world, please stop fumbling good men. You never know what you got until it's gone or until you see somebody else with it. Don't be out here throwing away happy homes, beautiful husbands, beautiful families, all for the illusion of being an empowered woman, being a strong woman, being able to explore different and bigger and better options. Don't do that. Because I'm going to tell y'all right now, all of these women that we see out here that have done that, they're extremely unhappy, extremely miserable, and highly remorseful and regretful. And yes, they're having to resort to partying every day, drinking every day, smoking every day, just to try to escape their new miserable reality. But anyway, you all, I thought I would come to you all with this new update regarding our good brother, Corey. It looks like he's back outside and flourishing. And I just know Tia is sick because she's inside not doing so great. She's inside trying to drown her misery away with her male gay best friend. And it's just really pitiful, especially considering the fact that she thought that she would be the one in Corey's shoes. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts, opinions, feedback down below in the comments. I look forward to seeing what y'all got to say. Um, and remember, ladies, hold on tight when you have a good man that is treating you right. Much love and peace to my crown head.